Hi everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Time for Tarascopes again, and we're doing the Tarascopes for the sign of um, Aries, Aries Sun, Aries Moon, Aries Rising um, for the month of November, 2022. Um, Mars is in um, Gemini and uh, starts its retrograde cycle um in november mars retrograde um in gemini can um, make us have to do things twice um it's going to take a lot of patience this month because of that and honestly aries you're not the most patient of signs so um try not to get too frustrated by things not going right the first time or going the first time, having to do things twice. It's okay. It is a time of choice. It's an 11 vibration. The month is an 11 vibration. So choice always comes into it. Balance, conversation, diplomacy, all of those things, necessary, <laughs> necessary. When Mars is, uh, when a planet is retrograde in a sign, it generally points in the opposite direction, right, of the of the opposite sign. And so when uh, Mercury is, I mean, when um, Mars, your ruling planet is in Gemini, um, it's really sort of pointing in the direction of Sagittarius. So the question is, what's the truth? What's the truth? What's your truth? The truth shall, shall, shall set you free. How much chaos do you want in your life? Let's take a look and see what's up for Aries. Now, because Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, sometimes I like to say the Aries reading is the one that uh, might just be for the month. So you can take it or leave it. If you're not an Aries, you can sort of take it or leave it, even if you are. Because Aries knows all about it. What, what's the best to take and what's the best to leave? And there you go, Emperor Aries, the Emperor. Look at that. Cool, right? Aries, the Emperor. This is the Aries card. This is about dominion. This is Aries knows what they want. They know what they want and they know how to get it. That's Aries. It's pure instinct on a level. It's powerful energy. Beginning Aries. What challenge is that? The end beginning and the end, the beginning and the end, something is coming to an end. A rain maybe is coming to an end. Let's see what's underneath it. Moving away from troubled waters. People want to move to stability. People want their problems solved. I don't know. I really feel like the people are speaking and um, those in power need to listen. In the past, we have the devil being um, being trapped in the lie that this is all there is and we have to take it all while we can. The past could indicate uh, some addiction issue. The devil has uh, can be addicted 
or it can be addiction, it can be addiction. Something that prevents you from connecting with your light. In the sky, we have the hanged man. So there's nothing much you can do. There's not much action you can take as the end of this cycle comes. The interesting thing about the 10 of swords is that this is a Gemini card, the last decan of Gemini. And that is the decan that Mars is going retrograde. It's, there's an energy of a new way of, um, the old way of conflict resolution does not work. That's what this is. At the point of a sword or the point of a gun or the point of a nuclear bomb. Doesn't work anymore. In the future, the queen of wands, the woman of power, the woman of passion, power and passion with her little kitty down there, little black cat, symbolic of the ability to manifest something out of nothing. Black cats, black animals are not bad luck. They're good luck. How it's seen from the outside, the two of cups, um, a sense that you are in good relationships with others, that you are a good partner, a good team player, somebody who cares about other people and that other people care about. Your home, we have the nine of cups. This is a wonderful card. It's wishes coming true, it's satisfaction, it's happiness, it's abundance, it's sharing the love, sharing the happiness, sharing the abundance. Hopes and fears, fear, <laughs> nightmares, that maybe it's true. Maybe this is, this is the reality. I think this is the end of all things. It's not the beginning of all things. It's the beginning of your dominion. You no longer have to be under all these rules and or uh, all these uh, anti-life ideas, you can move away from that and move towards life, move towards life, life. Outcome, change. When an ending happens, a new beginning happens. And so whatever this ending is, right on the other side of it is life. Fulfillment, happiness, lovely. Underneath it, we have the four of cups, the ace of um, wands and then the king of cups. It's okay to follow your dreams. It's okay to follow your fire. It's okay. Um, sometimes we stay in relationships um, to 
um, that keep us from that fire, that independent spirit, because we're afraid that the people that um, love us or love us less, or um, if we sometimes follow that, but it's, I don't think it's true. I think you can follow your fire, your creativity, your inspirations. I think it's important for fire signs to do that, to always connect to that, because that's what it comes down to. Your nature is a nature of connecting with the spirit within through art, through um, creativity, through uh, seeking of knowledge, teaching, acting. That's what I see. All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful month. I'll see you again next month. Uh, if you would like a reading with me, um, I do do astrology Kabbalah readings. You can go on my website. There's a link below. It shows you, uh, tells you, you know, gives you a little information on what kind of reading it is. Probably the best way to to experience one is just to take a look at one of my uh, famous famous personality videos, uh, astrology Kabbalah of uh, different people uh, on my website. That's a good way to see what it kind of is like. Um, if you if you like my work and you want to support that, you can like and subscribe and put your thumbs up and all that stuff watch a few watch a few ads um or you could be a member um you could be a patreon go to patreon i have a link down below if you want to support my work in that way there are different levels right now uh i just started the channel so um there's some there's some stuff on that that um that people on youtube don't see so just for patreon members uh, I'm doing a series on um, the devils and the details, um, the um, the making of the monster that is Trump. And so I look at Donald Trump and I look at his some of his most significant uh, relationships um, and how it sort of created um, this energy of of him. Um, So you can check that out on Patreon if you're interested. Have yourself a great month. I'll see you again next month. Take care. Namaste.